What's going on, everybody? My name is Boss Zygmunt, and today we are playing Space Agency again. And we are going to go to the Blue Planet. So, a uh, Blue Planet... <coughs> Anyways, Blue Planet is, of course... Uh, you saw the Blue Planet as we were passing by uh, the Purple Planet in the second episode. Actually, we orbited it, but... After I... I may be thinking after I orbit the blue planet, I think that's as far as I would be able to go. So I'm going to attempt to land on the green planet since you can land in the ocean. I'm not sure though, but I'm going to need a stronger rocket and that's probably going to be in the next. So when I try getting a rocket to go to go to the lunar surface, I don't, I'm not sure about going back. I, it won't come back, I, I assure you that. Be after this, I'm gonna have to complete more career mode. Some more career mode, actually, so I can uh, unlock new parts. T minus twenty seconds. Mm -hmm. Five, four, three. Come on now, activate. Start. Yes. One. Lift off. This is gonna be a successful mission to the blue planet. You can see my fuel level, so this should give me all the way out into deep space. Or just normal orbiting, but yeah. Commensural program. Not really. Yeah, I'm gonna try to save a lot of fuel, as much fuel as I can. <clears throat> Just let go for a second. Good for me. You know, so we gotta be careful on our separation. Last time I separ separated a Fairing satellite set. straight into the Earth's orbit. Stage set. Okay. Skirt set. Skirt set. Yes, good. And now. And now onward <clears throat> to the blue planet. Oh, okay, we are officially escaping. We escaped. Let's wait. I'm gonna do a quick flyby of the purple planet. Let's hope we don't land on it. Oh, shoot. oh no. There. Oh, come on. Gotta be kidding me. <clears throat> Anyways. <clears throat> oh, man. <clears throat> this is so cool. I mean, look at my rocket. Look at that, look at the end of it. It's the satellite dish, you know. Oh, okay. We're getting closer to the purple planet with each passing second. And just look at those stars. Just fly by. How many, I think there's three levels of stars, the closest stars. Then the stars get smaller and then they get the smallest of the stars. So I think there's three layers of stars actually. There might be even more than that. And I wonder in Kerbal Space Program, would they ever make it to where you can explore other solar systems? It's so cool. Am I right? And I have no idea what the blue planet is because it's been for it's been a while since I've been to the purple planet. And and I'm probably actually so there's also this there's also the sun, which I might try to do a suicide mission to the sun as because I want to. Okay, we need to hurry up and do this now. I don't know if the planets orbit or I think they just stand still. So it shouldn't be too bad. Maybe it's just because they're at the same angle all the time as they rotate around the sun. Well, the moon stays for some reason. stays at its position for a, for a while since I've been gone for about a long time. 
Okay, mission control says we have been gone for three days. We've been gone for three days. And then we're going to divide those days in this 60ths or whatever. Oh, okay. Now, four days we've been away. Four days. Four days we've been away. Four days we've been in space. Literally, I'm like using this to represent space terms. Oh, 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 oh! We're gonna do a quick flyby. Oh, what the? Uh, yeah. Wait, how can red be over there? That makes no sense. How can red be over there? How can red be over there? Wait a minute, what? I'm confused. I'm so close to the blue planet. Come on. We're gonna get that satellite and we are gonna orbit that planet. That's right, and then we're gonna send the suicide planet mission to the sun because that's supposed to, that's what we do. We make risk in science. We're gonna see what happens if you crash into the sun. Now, red, for some, is there two red planets? Maybe, maybe you actually made up a theory here. See, if you, you have no idea where you're going, because you can only map out the coordinates, but in KSP, you know where you're going, so you might intersect with planets. If you try going to, let's say, Elus, it's kind of hard to say it, uh, you have to pass by Jewel, right? You have to go somewhere around Jewel. You cannot go to a place where, across that same plane, Jewel exists. You cannot do that, because Elus is a lot smaller than Jewel. And Elus probably has a normal orbit. I mean, it is kind of like a proto planet or whatever. I don't know how to say it. Sorry if it gets quiet there. It touches the ground and the mic gets messed up. So, yeah. Mm. Come on, we're so close to the blue planet. Anyways, 747, the blue planet's not that far away. We're gonna make it, guys. This episode's pretty long as well because Blue Planet's probably the farthest planet I travel to. And this is actually a really, really trustworthy satellite. It just takes a, oh, a trustworthy craft. It can go to any planet if it wants to. Really, but it's going to take a long time, so I might have to cut some of the episode, parts of the episode. Yeah. We're so close. We are officially away from home. We cannot. Oh, home is too far away. As you can see, we are going to intersect the planet, and our Delta V is a little too much, I say. So we're going to have to slow down a bit. Look how much that Delta V slows down. So right about there, I hope. We don't want to get forced into the planet's gravity. Please don't. You're going to make it. We're going to make it. I don't know, because I know we're going to make it. Oh, yeah, we did it, guys. And we're going to land. We, we did it. Good, we got it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, but yeah, we did it. And that's the end of this episode, guys. Orbiting the blue planet. And I'll see you in the next episode.